the amount of times I will say romance in this video will be a little insane, but we'll just get through it together. Just realizing how much historical romance I got. Greetings and salutation book lovers. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and I have a romance book haul for you all. I have to be completely honest. I wasn't going to say anything, but I just, let's be honest. I filmed this video already and I went the entire video, was about to edit it and then realized my head was cut off the entire time so let's just get into this i have so many books to talk about so we're really going to be moving quickly i have 33 romance books to talk about which is insane i have no excuse for it other than i have a serious problem kind of all started because i learned about the jr ward series from chandler here on booktube um and just wanted to collect the whole series. This is like a 20 something book series. So I'm just slowly collecting all of the books um, and then just sort of tumbled from there. So right now we're just gonna be talking about romance books. I have a lot of supernatural, paranormal romance and I have a lot of historical romance. I have a few traditionally published romances that I will share at the end. So let's get started. Um, I guess we'll start with what prompted this entire haul. And like I said, that's the J.R. Ward series. So Chandler here on booktube and Jessica from Peace Love Books. Sorry if I'm looking down. I have a lot of notes that I wanted to remember. Um, Jessica from Peace Love Books and Chandler here on booktube recommend this series. They rave about it. The way it was pitched to me is that it's a vampire romance series, which is everything I need in my life. It follows the Black Dagger Brotherhood, which is basically a group of vampires that protect their race the vampire race and it follows their love stories and them meeting their mates and I'm just here for it I know everyone has read the series but me um so I definitely need to catch up I'm just sort of gonna roll through this one and kind of read off the titles because I have more of the books coming and like I said it's like a 20 book series so I don't know the synopsis for all of them but I'm very excited so the first one is Dark Lover we have Lover Awakened, Lover Avenged, Lover Revealed, Lover Mine, and then we have Lover Unleashed in this hardcover. I don't know why I could not find the soft, um, the paperback cover for this. I went to a couple bookstores and I just kept finding the hardcover. So that's the one we got. I mean, it's gorgeous, but it's the only hardcover that I got from the series, which will probably drive me bonkers, but it's okay. I also got um, two books from the Fallen Angel series from J.R. Ward. We have Envy and Covet. I believe this is a trilogy, so I'm missing the middle book from this series, um, which I'm sure I'll pick up once I start it, but I'm very excited to read this as well. What? Okay, here's the story. Okay. So, uh, and Grandma called her, uh -huh. and Grandma said she saw a UFO. No! Yep. A UFO? Yep. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Where? I don't know, she said it was south in a straight line. Like, if you see lights? No, 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 no. No, seriously, go ask no, mommy. No. Tell mommy downstairs and see if I'm lying. I'm serious. Okay, we're back. Sorry. Something about my grandma seeing a UFO and my mom standing in the street looking for the UFO. Actually, pause. Do you guys believe any, like, aliens and, like, UFOs? Because I swear to God, I promise I'm not making this up. This is not clickbait. I swear I saw a UFO once. I swear we were driving and there was like this flash of red light and then just disappeared. It was the weirdest thing. I promise I saw it. Anyways, we're moving on. We're moving on. We're mo or, ooh, I have a lot, a lot of historical romance. I went to a couple of discounted bookstores. This haul is kind of an accumulation. I got a lot of my books from book outlets, thrift books, and some bookstores near me. The bookstores near me were having amazing sales on historical romances. Most of them were only a dollar. So I sort of was like a kid in a candy store and just grabbed, grabbed, grabbed everything. I needed it in my life. I did want to shout out some amazing channels and Instagram pages that really helps kind of guide me in the historical romance genre. Lacey Book Lovers and Teresa from Reads Romance. I don't think Teresa has a YouTube. I think she just has an Instagram, but I know all of the other girls have both Instagram and YouTube, which I will link down below because they give amazing book recommendations 
and they were raving about some of these authors I'm about to talk about which is why I picked them up. I've read romance for years but I feel like historical romance is something that I've completely neglected. Um, I don't know why it's such a huge part of romance and I'm really excited to get into it. I think a lot of people are sort of embarrassed to read these because I mean most of the pictures are like naked women or naked men shirtless men but like don't be embarrassed live your life read some good romance books it's okay so I got a couple of books from Elizabeth Hoyt um I say a couple but I mean I got a lot a lot this up is a trilogy that I got from her this is the serpent prince the leopard prince and the raven prince which I love this book cover um, I don't really know too much about those plots. Like I said, a lot of these books were just a dollar, so I sort of just grabbed them in the store, and I will give a more cohesive review once I read them. Next up by Elizabeth Hoyt, we have Wicked Attentions and To Deuce a Sinner. I love this book cover. Um, both historical romances. Don't know much about them, but I'm very excited to read them. This book was a recommendation from Chandler. She really, she, I believe... The way she pitched this is if you like feminist historical romances, this is the book for you because our heroine is very sassy and independent, which I love. Um, this is Say No to the Duke by Eloisa James. This is, I think, book five or six from the wilds of Lindo Castle. Um, but from what I've been told, these books can be read as stand read as standalones. They don't have to be read in the series in order, so I'm just going to go with that. I also picked up two more Eloisa James books. We have A Duke of Her Own and When the Duke Returns. We're going to be reading a lot about dukes. That's fun. The author that I got a lot of books from is Julia Quinn. We have The Sum of All Kisses, 10 Things I Love About You, which I definitely got because of 10 Things I Hate About You sound familiar love that movie figured I would love this book uh, what else we have brighter than the Sun and when he was wicked one historical romance author that I heard so much about was Amanda quick so I picked up one book from her called rendezvous I'm super excited I heard a lot about this author and apparently she's amazing I heard a lot about Tessa dare as well but I couldn't find her in the bookstore if you guys have any historical romance recommendations please 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 leave them down below would love to hear them because I'm just getting into this genre and I'm very excited. Oh, this is a really exciting one. When I was in the bookstore looking for the J.R. Ward series, I went to the same bookstore like two or three times and the same employee was there ringing me up and she saw that I was really interested in the J.R. Ward series and she said, if you love her writing, you'll probably love Sherilyn Kennan because she also writes supernatural romances and I was intrigued. So I went home, Googled Sherilyn Kennan and apparently she has like, a bajillion books like one of her series is like 28 books which I mean where do I even start but I was lucky enough to stumble upon this book which is a first in a trilogy I believe this is Blood Trinity by Sherilyn Kennan and Diana Love and I'm very excited to read it oh this next book I say I'm excited for all of these books but really I'm very excited for this one this is P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern I love this movie so much just so much p.s. I love you is one of my favorite movies of all time I went through a period in my life where I legit was watching that movie every night for like three months straight Gerard Butler is just perfection Mwah. chef's kiss absolute perfection where was I god I get distracted so easily um yes I love this movie so so much Gerard Butler is one of my favorite actors of all time. I wanted to read the book to see if I like the movie better, if I like the book better, which usually usually I do love the book better, but because I love the movie so much, I was kind of nervous to read it. So we will see how it holds up, if they're similar, if the movie did some different things. Very excited to read this, but also very nervous. I also picked up Outlander by Diana Cabal Cabaldon? Cabaldon? I think that's how you pronounce her last name. This is a really popular series that a lot of people love that I have never gotten into. Jessica from Peace Love Books talks about it quite often, so I'm very excited, and this color blue is so pretty. Okay, we are almost done. I have some more traditionally published books. Most of these I got from Book Outlet, and then I got a couple from the thrift store. First up is A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall. 
I do know the synopsis for this one. Um, basically, this was described as a love story told, I want to say, in 14 different perspectives. Um, but it's a little different because you follow all kinds of different perspectives. I was told that a squirrel has a perspective in this book, which I don't know how that's going to work out. But you follow the barista, the bus driver, a squirrel. Following these two people and sort of witnessing their love story, which sounds adorable. Oh, this one still has a tag on it. I don't know if you can describe this next book as a romance. This is Gar The Gargoyle from Andrew Davidson. This was recommended to me by my coworker. Um, she lent me this book and I've already read it. Um, and then I saw it in the bookstore, so I decided to pick up the physical copy. I gave this book a three out of five stars, which is just okay. But I would definitely recommend it because it is such an interesting book. Like I said, don't know if you could call this a love story. Um, the synopsis is kind of weird. Our main character is a porn star, which fun and he sort of gets addicted to drugs and loses his way and ends up in the hospital where he meets a woman who is in the psychiatric ward basically claiming that she is his soulmate wife in the past and that they have met in different timelines and that he reincarnates every couple years and they always stumble across each other and at first he doesn't know whether to believe her or if she's just crazy and you sort of just follow their story it bounces back and forth between a past timeline and a current timeline the main character um sort of relies on this woman to take care of him because of the accident he had in the hospital the woman is a sculptor which is very important in the story and it is so so interesting like i said i don't know if this is really considered a romance um but to me it feels like a romance it's just the weirdest romance i've ever read but also so good, very interesting, very intriguing. I gave it a 3.5 3 uh, out of 5 stars. Next up is Feel Notes on Love by Jennifer E. Smith. Um, I know a little bit about this book from what I had been told. This guy, our main male character, basically is planning to go on vacation. But he was planning to go on vacation with his ex-girlfriend. The tickets are non-refundable, so he decides to still go on the trip but sell the tickets on eBay. Or the other ticket because he's going to go on the trip. Um, and he just needs someone who has the same first and last name of his girlfriend, which is where our female main character comes across um how they cross paths and they go on this vacation together as strangers and this is their story next one i got a couple of books by jamie mcguire i read the beautiful disaster and beautiful wedding book years and years and years and years ago when i was in high school and i remember being so obsessed with that book it sort of follows a college it's sort of how do I explain this book? It's a college sports romance. Um, the main male character is a boxer. They meet in college. It sort of starts as a friends to lovers situation. Also has a shared bed trope, which I mean, I know a lot of people love. And this is the rest of the series. This kind of follows the Maddox brothers, Travis's brothers in um, the first book. So we have Beautiful Burn beautiful sacrifice and beautiful oblivion i don't know in which order they go through i reread this uh the books as an adult the very first book as an adult um and it was a little problematic the main character main male character is very alpha male it has a lot of insta love and a lot of not so healthy behavior in the books but it's just one of those guilty pleasures that i can't help but love um, but just know going into it, it is a little bit of an alpha male situation. Next up, we have My Favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren. This is another book that I have already read. I just wanted the physical copy. I love Christina Lauren. Their writing is amazing. Uh, I give most of their books five stars. So this follows a group of friends who all work together as professors at a college. And they have a fancy banquet that they're going to be going to. And then none of them have dates. They're all single. So they decide to all make a pact and sign up for this online dating website and find dates the guys have a really easy time the girl not so much there's one girl in the group and this sort of just follows that story uh, mainly focuses on Millie and Reed who are best friends have been best friends for a while and Millie matches with Reed on this online dating website and doesn't really tell him so it's kind of like a catfish situation which I didn't love too much but Reed is such a sweet cinnamon roll. I did enjoy it. The main character, the girl main character, was a little irritating. But I still liked it um, enough to get a hard copy at least. Um, what did I rate this book? I gave it a 3.5 
out of four stars. Not my favorite Christina Lauren book, but a really good one nonetheless. The next book I have started, this is The Matchmaker List by Sonia Lawley. I have started this book, but I sort of put it aside because it's not really capturing my attention. I'm just not in love with the writing style. But it does follow the main character who is someone who really has focused on her career most of her life. She hasn't really focused on romance, getting married, having kids, but she comes from a very traditional Indian family where her grandmother wants her to get married and have kids. So to appease her grandmother, she decides to go on a couple dates. Her grandmother makes this this list of suitable guys or guys that she thinks that would be good for her granddaughter and she goes on a series of first dates it seems more of like a romantic comedy than anything else I'm not in total love with the writing um, the main character is a little bit melodramatic um, so I have put this book aside but I do love the representation in this book and it sounds interesting so I'll probably finish it at some point the next book I have absolutely no idea what the synopsis is. I got it strictly because of the title. It's called This Love Story Will Self-Destruct by Leslie Cohen. It sounded super interesting and yeah so this is the last one that I have in this book haul. We got through it. 33 books. Very excited to read all of them. If you guys have any romance recommendations, specifically paranormal romance, historical romance, please leave it down below. My favorite trope is like a best friends to lovers. I also love sports romances. See, I just love all types of romances. If you have a favorite, leave it down below and I'll definitely check it out. Um, I'm very sorry that I didn't go through all of the synopsis of these books because I had a lot of them and a lot of them were more impulse buys because the thrift store was having such good sales. Once I read them, I will give you more cohesive reviews. This was sort of just an overview of some books that I've picked up and that's it. Probably was talking really fast. I had a lot of stuff to say. Whatever. Whatever. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It just means the world to me. I really appreciate it and I'm very excited for all the videos I have planned for my channel. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!